ഹായ് സരിത്ത് ഓഫ് ഇന്ത്യ ആർട്ട് ഡിസൈൻ ഫൈനലെ ആഫ്റ്റർ മെനി മെനി തിങ്കിങ് ഓവർ ഇൻ പാർട്ട് ഓവർ ഐ ഗോയിങ് ടു സേ വാട്ട് ഐ ഫാമിലി ബിലീവ് ഇൻ എസ്പെഷ്യലി ഇൻ ദ സ്ട്രേഞ്ച് ടൈം ഐ എം നാവ് ഇൻ സെവിദ കാട്ടി വൺ ടു സെക്സ് ഇറ്റ് ഇസ് എൻ എക്സ്ട്രീംലി ഫോർച്ചുനേറ്റ് സ്പേസ് there in over 30 acres of land just about 50 of our family's love and in a manner of speaking i am quarantined all by myself in my cottage now going through various media factors going through various things that has been happening in the last 20 and almost a month i am very confident and very sure that this is all deliberately done and it's a bio war it is a sample war trying to rule by fear it is a part of something that goes beyond world war 1 world war 2 imagine what happened after world war 1 things changed after world war 2 things changed after ramayana after mahabharata things changed similarly there is somebody up there we don't know who it's not any particular country or any particular thing for the first time in human history and culture the whole world has come together the whole world is in fear is in fear of who or what why absolutely no idea i look at the newspapers they're empty i look at the tv it's empty I walk through my lake it's empty you can't touch a person you can't meet a person but you can talk to him but all they talk is corona 19 corona 2020 they have nothing else to discuss they have nothing else to talk finally somebody after that epic picture of 1984 and another bio war picture no director no actor nobody has even imagined such a reality will come to be there can i just look back and say this is real for the first time in my life i'm saying this for the first time in human life we are saying this the architects we are used to building various factors now let us let us look at this from purely an architectural angle in the environment this is a fascinating time like the wars change the way architecture approached human beings the way they live the way they work the way they pace themselves a similar thing is happening right away and will happen people will start looking at neighborhoods people will start looking at common factors people will be ruled by a softness of fear which they don't even understand obedience the rules and negotiations rules the conditions and parameters will be there and will become part of life it is almost like a god fearing factor but we don't know what we are fact it is not religion it is not something which somebody calls you together and say do it this or you will this will happen to you this is beyond it this is happening as a revolution of human kind not just on this earth but it will also reach beyond this earth some people think is it from take extra terrestrial space no this is happening because of humans who have somehow willingly knowingly have come together have ordained this to happen and let us look at the architecture part again in a different way what will happen after this is something very revolutionary look at the way the small picture all the cities are clean for the first time delhi is clean for the first time paris is clean for the first time china is clean for the first time new york is clean in one way of looking how positive it is in another way of looking i look at my neighbor first time in my life i'm walking for a walk i'm first time i'm sitting with my mother in law my wife and having dinner with them or eating with them and yet i can't meet my children yet i can't meet my daughter that i can't travel beyond a certain thing there is something very fascinating not contradictory but very subtly controlling i remember during hitler's time they said no child belongs to the parents 
afterwards it belongs to the state and the state will be the way things will be followed maybe something like that is going to happen if that happens imagine the type of cities that we have to design and build imagine the type of houses that you have to build imagine the type of homes that you have to build imagination of architecture will reach heights which we have never never dreamt of in our lives architecture will be the revolutionary subject profession that can change the built environment this is going to happen and this will happen very positively maybe in a decade or less but i'm somehow feel this is just the first step the very next step is going to be there soon the cleaning up or measuring up you can call it what you want i look at it sometimes when i sit quiet as now absolutely to myself how do i control this environment how do i do it who are you as a voice you will be given you are only a tool amongst everything else you are a creative imaginative tool that's why we want you you will now create with your imagination and innovation small neighborhoods small entertainment centers or neighborhoods that go along with entertainment centers and business centers production center these will be defined these will happen and these all will require an architecture and a planning and an environment built which nobody could believe it will it be under the ground will it be in space will it be something this would depend upon the culture the history the type of people this is one more time lots of things are going to mingle together food services professions all will interact in very fascinating term i strongly believe although it looks like a fairy tale or some sort of an unreal factor who did imagine two months back this would happen this unreal factor is real now let us imagine now and move to an architecture that is totally different that is totally beyond our thing lots of materials will come the senses will wake awaken to these elements the senses will look at through the elements and then combining these elements and these factors we will come and make something happen the architecture profession is a leading profession because it's the only pure abstract profession the others are all very tight within their boundaries and we architects can lead the way very softly although we will be led by somebody else somewhere who what why from there that is not for us to question they are asked to design and build something yes it will come to us softly and we will take this opportunity to do it i am very positive on this factor there is yes that fear runs in my mind but i look at atlas shrugged in very smiling way she wrote of this happening then after fountain had been she wrote atlas shrugged ayn rand wrote it very clearly the disappearance of the known world and the rise of another whether it's totally controlled whether it's totally free whether it's liberty freedom and choice a just movement of people to higher levels all this will happen depending on what happens it depends upon how we humans take this up we various cultures take this up and then where do we find the leaders where do we find the environmentalists where we find the architects i still believe somewhere something is absolutely fascinating that's going to happen i'm looking at it in a very positive way in spite of all the negativeness that surrounds it was without the yin and the yang the world cannot live without the what you call the zen and the gyan life cannot be knowledge is supreme wisdom is beyond supremacy spirit is even beyond these two knowing is not enough learning is not enough understanding human life is something that's going to happen understanding how people want to live how they want to work how they want to profess themselves how they want to interact this will be the future and into that we architects will play a very decisive role and you people in the media will have to understand and put this in a very clear factor and say which is the direction we take which are the many multifarious directions are going to happen it's not just one direction but within the parameters that will many directions the media will have to play a positive role in this i wish 
I will be still there to see this new world. Thank you very much for this opportunity. Namaskars.